We just heard directly from Cambridge Fire Department Chief Tom Cahill. He says this was an extremely tough firefight. The open structure of the church, the wood beams and the high ceilings allowing this fire to burn fast and burn hot. Firefighters' priority was to make sure that this steeple did not collapse. You can see they were successful in that. Now there's a lot to clean up and a lot of unanswered questions. Firefighters and neighbors are safe. This fire starting just 30 minutes after mass let out. Parishioners filled the pews of Faith Lutheran Church on Easter Sunday, not knowing hours later the building they celebrated in would be gone. I don't know where we go from here. Smoke billowed from smashed stained glass windows and through the roof of the Cambridge Church while neighbors watched from the street below. It is devastating. Diane Garner's worshipped at the Broadway Avenue Church for more than 20 years. You've been a member of this church for quite some time. What would you say to your fellow parishioners, to the pastor? We would probably all cry together. We're not going to have a church. There's no smoke coming from the church. The church is here. The church is the people. Church pastor Robin Latuhan promising a future for members and asking them to just have faith. It has housed and fed the homeless. It has been a place of worship for a number of communities for over a century. We're going to do everything we can to preserve it for future generations. Firefighters worked for hours into the night, relying on hoses from a distance to keep firefighters safe, eventually pushing neighbors back blocks for fear the steeple would fall. Much of Faith Lutheran Church was left with significant damage, but despite flames, smoke, and pounds of water pressure, the steeple and the cross on top remained into the night. Again, no injuries were reported. This fire is still very much under investigation, and we are told by the pastor that every Tuesday they host a soup kitchen. He says that soup kitchen will happen this week in Cambridge. Laura Hafley, WBZ News.